Alright, G. Welcome back to Skeleton Knight to Another World Anime Review Episode Number 11. This I'm reviewing the 11th episode of the series, which is called The Monster Table Barbarian Laps in the Darkness. This episode adapts from most of Chapter 4, which the opening recap of the episode is from a small portion of Chapter 3. Yeah, pretty much they skip from Chapter 3 from Book 2. Three and I'm not really sure why it's kind of weird. So after the opening recap, we then cut to Arlene and Ark arriving in this town, this that where they basically conclude they're in the Empire, and they're here looking for the missing elves. Now in the book they have Carlina here. In the anime they completely remove from the episode. It's like. They basically bring her later on the episode as a surprise because in the book she's practically with him the whole time. And for some reason they gave a lot of her lines to Arlene for some reason. My guess is probably because she didn't do very much in the chapter and, and also because she's actually with Ark the whole time. So they need to have these two get separated for a bit in order for stuff to happen that kind of did. And it's basically that Carlita, Carlotto, I think I'd see what I'm saying. Xiaomi. Where she's the one who finds all the info in the episode was Art Aline herself. Ooh. Excuse me. Of course, Art found out about, well, the fact there's this mysterious fortress. Which, the reason being there is never explained. Was this place a Fillmore military base? Never explained in the episode. The book itself does not go into detail about the base at all. It goes to some detail, but not too much detail. It just is this base in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it's just outside town, actually. So, they go to it. In the book, say they have only five days to get there. In the anime, they go there, like, right after they meet up with each other. Like, I would say, like, the very next day... Of course, also stuff where they go to an inn, and there's a lot of stuff coming from the chapter. Probably due to time. That's my personal guess. That could probably explain why the Cat Ninja is not in a lot of the episode. Yes, because like a lot of her stuff gave her a lane, gave her more to do. Not a bad idea, given the fact if you read the act chapter itself, Arlene doesn't really do very much in the chapter. So it's like the episode just gave her a lot of the cat ninja stuff so they go to the fortress and they investigate possibly the elves might be there so apparently they mentioned the elves were taken there four months ago and they and they basically sneak in like very easily like in in the book they actually explained they actually went to the top couple floors and they found nothing here it's like show a couple hallways and then apparently opening up a wall leads to an underground prison, which it's empty for some reason. Yeah, the episode doesn't really go into why the heck this is empty. And then, well, they're, and they're there for not even five minutes. And all of a sudden, the villain of the episode shows up. Yes, the guy who they confirmed this episode is a monster tamer. His name is Fambuda Sodu Rosabanya. Yeah, we see, first see this guy in the last episode. I forgot to mention him last week. He's seen with two beard beef women, which, of course, the person who's with him described as whores, basically prostitutes. And I want to get said to his Hydra. Yes, they confirm in the book it's a Hydra. And the episode confirms it's a Hydra. So then, of course, Ark is all of a sudden attacked by Arlene because of stuff that the monster tamer, of course, they confirm his monster tamer based on his power. Is Arlene to attack him? And you're thinking, did this happen in the book? Not really, no. The creature was definitely there that was controlling her the whole time. 
But her attacking arc, that never happened in the book. That was completely made up for the anime. <clears throat> and of course, Ark's able to find the imp. That's basically what it is. And kills it pretty easily. And then all of us, and of course, it's pointed to basically drag it out. And then the monster was like, hey, let's bring out some monsters. He brings out just like an orc, a basilisk, look like some lizard men, a bunch of creatures. The first creature he killed, he killed it was basically a giant white tiger. And bring more monsters I take out of these guys pretty easily. And like, okay, I got more monsters. Then Kyrie shows up completely out of nowhere. I'm like, where the heck have you been the whole episode? Yeah, there's not really an explanation. Oh yeah, by the way, Arlene mentioned she got some informant. It's possible from her, but they don't. They kind of confirm it, but not really. It's kind of weird how they have it in this episode. So, so Ninja Group just takes down the monsters really easily. And then all of a sudden, well, also Arlene's with the attack by monster like if she's saved by the cat ninja. And after transporting out of the base, presumably with all the ninja, of course they've already escaped too, and apparently the base is destroyed. By what, you might ask? A hydra. Yes, a hydra. That apparently was kept in the base. If you watch the episode, Five Heads, it's clear hydra. They don't say it's a hydra in the episode of the book they do, in the anime, they they actually do not say it's a Hydra. It's confirmed it is a freaking Hydra. Oh, and what happened to the elves? They were experimenting on, and some, a couple, that at least one of them was actually fit to the Hydra. Yeah, so they're actually too late to save these elves. But if you're curious, so this guy will be dealt with next episode? I'm sure of it, definitely. Mm-hmm. We're probably going to wrap this little fight up probably next episode. And it seems kind of weird though. They skip over the entirety of like They hint at something basically. I think it was just last episode or two. Where they mentioned about this duke. Uh, where he got married to an elf. In the book they actually have a whole chapter. Where they actually visit the elf. And it's a very good chapter. The episode for some reason skips over that. For some reason. And goes straight to the Montana stuff. Maybe they might save for the season finale. Who the heck freaking knows. Now, here's the thing about this series. Unlike, let's say, The Rise or Hero, where that it has been confirmed that's 13 episodes, that's going to wrap up presumably in a couple weeks. This one, I assume it's going to be in two more episodes because it's probably going to wrap up via, like, because the end of the month is like June 30th, so I wouldn't be surprised if they aired another episode that day. Yeah. Though I should also point out, though, I have found some really release dates and excuse me when when, when, the, when the season ends and when the super next season ends for Cogs and Lobos War, when that officially ends, basically Thursday and Friday be free for me first time. Uh, in the case of Thursday, this is the first time in like over a year that Thursday's been free for me. Friday, it's been occupied for a little while per se, but. That would be free of nonetheless. Yep. But not much else that they say about this episode. It's pretty good. Uh, from the from the anime perspective. But man, they cut a lot of stuff out more than usual. Like, you could say they cut half the freaking chapter. And they add a bunch of anime originals to content. You could definitely say that per se. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing really bad about the episode per se. Except the adaptation process is a bit sloppy this episode. Yeah, because normally the previous episodes are actually pretty decent. This episode, they cut a lot out. Like, Arlene talking to guards. Practically almost removing an entire character from the episode. For apparently, for no reason. I'm like, why the heck would you move the cat girl for? She's an absolute great character. Oh, she also made, oh yeah, you're going to join you later. And I'm like, did they cut that from the episode? Possibly, I'm not really sure. But it just seems like a lot, a lot of like information here was cut. Also, the whole there's also a scene I forgot, almost forgot to mention before I this, where Ark saves a woman from being supposedly kidnapped per se. And you might be thinking, like, did this happen in the book? Kind of, yes. I think it may have mentioned. I I think I may have skipped over, but I think this I think this may have, either it did happen. 
or it basically was made for the anime. Who the heck knows? Yeah, and of course, basically was mentioned by a few times by Ark that our lead is prickly. Why the heck is she like like this? Who? Kn well, it could be because Ark because Ark is with another woman. That's possible to say the least, but they don't really go into it at all. Yeah. But not much to say this episode. So yeah, so that's it for Sickle of You. Uh, that's going to be pretty much it for tonight's videos because it's getting kind of late. So basically kind of in a way today because today is Saturday. Basically later on today, it'll be reviews for Case Closed, Cox and Lose War, and maybe a couple of comic corners. But also maybe because I'm working on the book now, Bridge Revolution. Okay, next video. Bye.